Good morning. We are joined by fitness guru Leanne Ellington. And besides tips, she's got a product for us to check out. And everyone's been talking about it. It is this barefoot sensation. Right. And these shoes. Yes. Sort of if you'll notice, I look a little asymmetrical. I'm wearing two different shoes because I wanted to show you two different options if you wanted to participate. One, you can see all five of my wiggle toes. Those toes. Yeah, wiggle them, wiggle them. And then the other is those Nike Freeze that I talked about a couple weeks ago on the air. So the barefoot running movement is just what it says it is, where you're literally you can run barefoot or you can get these minimalist training shoes to mimic the ability to run barefoot. And the point is of running barefoot, yeah. I know it's supposed to be good for you, you build muscles. Well, and the concept is you're going to be using the natural alignment of your feet. So wherever you, you want to be able to use the entire foot and um, heel to toe action in terms of running. Whereas when you're wearing shoes, you could be anywhere from a half an inch to three inches off the ground. But don't you so feel you're support? Not, well, that's the thing. There is that impact factor. And um, studies have shown that the impact is actually less when you're using the barefoot running shoes. The only, the, the you know, the bad side of that is that when you're going from regular shoes to these minimalist trainers, there's a higher risk of injury. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Once, you know, the transition to barefoot is where you're more prone to injury, but once you do get in that minimalist training shoe or barefoot um, running shoe, you your impact is a little bit less because you're able to use the heel and the, the calf more efficiently. Okay, so tell us, what do you use the barefoot shoe for? Right, so for barefoot train, um, for these little guys with the, with the toes, I like them for anything, I'll tell you what I don't like them for, for pavement, anything running on pavement. For some reason, I don't personally think it's enough support. Now, I was explaining to you during the break, it might be one of those things where it's like playing guitar, where you get calluses and you have to get over it until you, um, you know, yeah. get over them. Uh -huh. um, and it was, it might be the same way for these, but I had blisters at the end of them and I didn't want to get over them. So for that, for running on pavement, also for any lateral motion, like a dance class or some sort of aerobics class where you're doing a lot of lateral motion, I personally didn't find them to be the best shoe for that. So you don't um, wear them to Zumba, you don't wear them to running on pavement, so what can exactly, you wear them for? You know, any gym-based activity, any balance training, plyometrics, strength training, that kind of thing, even running on the treadmill, elliptical, that kind of thing, I found that they're great. And I found that my balance is a lot better when I'm in these shoes than if I'm off the ground. Now, I personally, I've talked about the Magic Shoes before, the Nike Free. They're like, if you don't want to go quite that barefoot movement, you can go, these are just considered a minimalist trainer where the, you can see that the, the, the sole is, is very minimal, okay? You're still very close to the ground, great for balance training, agility, that kind of thing, but it is a little bit more support. So I could run, you know, on these on the pavement and be completely fine, not a blister in sight, whereas these on the pavement would not do my body as much justice. So and it's just a preference thing, I think, at that point. Some of you may have, may have seen this on the news with um, people running actually barefoot on the pavement or yes. on the beach and it's supposed to be good. So just right. talk about that for a second. And it just goes back to kind of like um, the, the caveman movement. Like what did we do? What did our ancestors do? And that's where that whole barefoot running movement started. And it's just a matter of, once again, using the natural alignment of your feet so that you're not compensating with anything. So if you do have muscle muscular imbalances or asymmetry, you have a l the more ability to not compensate with, with the sole of a shoe. So it once again, it's one of those things where if you're a beginner to barefoot, definitely ease into it. Try it out. Um, you know, don't go hard. Don't go run a marathon barefoot if you've never done it. <laughs> um, and especially, like, actual barefoot, watch out for glass and plastic and things right. to step on, you know? So I personally wouldn't want to go fully barefoot, but. Okay. All right. Fitness guru Leanne Ellington, thanks so much for joining us this thanks morning. Thanks for having me. All of Leanne's workouts are on our website, clickorlando.com. Let's get to the forecast. Could be a good day to work out outside. Here's Julie Broughton.